Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and welcome to a brand new series on this channel, and I'm going to be covering the top 5 most expensive god tier unusuals that haven't actually been priced yet for each class, and in the first episode, I thought I'd just get this one out of the way and be doing the multi-class slash all-class episode. So we will be covering hats like the Team Captain, uh, that isn't quite an all-class hat, but still can be worn by multiple classes, so does come under that multi-class region. But essentially, what this is, is I'm going to be going over some un unpriced unusuals that are, ha are quite clearly god tier and uh, will sell for a very high amount if they do ever get priced or if they do ever end up on the market. And I'll just simply be going over the quite possibly the most expensive possible ones of those or the ones that I feel like are going to sell for the most. There will be 10 episodes in this series, each focusing on each individual class in the game. And of course, this episode being the all class episode, which fe features multi class hats. So without Without further ado guys, these are just my opinions, I'm sure there are other um, unusual hats that aren't quite priced yet that will hold a very high value once they have sold a couple times, but this is just what I feel like are some really nice ones and definite highlights at the moment. So without further ado, let's get straight into the first hat in the list. So first up on this list and the fifth all class item to be featured in this list, we have the purple energy crown of the old kingdom. The crown of the old kingdom was initially a promotional item, but it is available to to be worn by all classes and green energy is priced at 690 keys generally purple energy is worth a little bit more than green energy on in most cases so it really wouldn't surprise me if purple energy would be selling for 750 plus i'm really not too sure but regardless it's an awesome god tier unusual and definitely will sell for a lot of keys in value once it does sell and if it does ever get priced i'm not doubting the fact it will be well over 650 keys so next up on this list guys, once again another all class unusual being the Knife Storm Antlers. The Antlers, um, again, are a very high tier all class misc. I, I believe it has no equip region, so can be worn with just about any other misc in the game. And Stormy 13th Hour, which is a very, very similar effect to Knife Storm. It just has the skull in the cloud and has rain falling from it as opposed to knives. That is priced at 1,000 keys, so Knife Storm definitely wouldn't fail to reach maybe 800 plus when priced. And unfortunately, it hasn't been priced, and I believe it hasn't been sold for years and unfortunately. Regardless, it's still a really, really nice item and definitely deserves its spot on this list. So next up on our list, we have the beloved Team Captain, this time with the effect of Stormy 13th Hour. Uh, it's quite surprising this isn't priced because a lot of the Halloween hats uh, for the Team Captain are priced. A Secret to Everybody is priced at 700 keys, whilst Harvest Moon is priced at a very impressive 775. So it's definitely not doubtable that Stormy 13th 13th hour will fit well within these ranges, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more, who knows. But regardless, this is still a super nice unusual and I can't believe it's not priced yet. I believe it's been in existence for ages, it just probably isn't for trade or probably hasn't been traded in months, but it's such a nice hat and definitely would be going for 650 plus at the very, very least. So in the runner up spot, we have the Spellbound Killer exclusive. The Arcana Killers exclusive was priced not too long ago at 1000 and 50 keys. Of course, Spellbound is Arcana's counterpart effect, so they are very similar and generally are priced fairly close together. So I have no doubting that a Spellbound Killers exclusive would be able to reach well above 1,000 keys if ever sold. Unfortunately, this hasn't been sold again for quite a while now, and I don't see it selling anytime soon, so I don't think it's going to be priced. But regardless, this is still an amazing god tier unusual, and it's quite amazing to think that in all the time it's been in existence. It's not been traded frequently enough or nobody's really noticed it be traded uh, recently enough for it to get priced and it's such an amazing unusual. Arcana is on the market fairly frequently I think so uh, 1050 keys is a very a re reasonable and respectable price. So in the number one spot we have the all class hat the Bedouin bandana. Uh, apologies if I pronounced that wrong but it's an all class elite grade hat and there is currently one in existence that hasn't been priced with the effect of scorching flames. To put into perspective how high tier and rare this is, there's about 
13 in existence. Purple Confetti was priced about three months ago at over 400 keys, so there's no doubt Scorching Flames is a much higher tier effect than Purple Confetti, and would be well in the region of 1,500 plus at the very least. Uh, but that's just my opinion, guys. Uh, that's just about it for this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the list or the thoughts on the hats in general. Let me know if you enjoyed the concept of this series as well, because I will be going through each class individually and just noting out some really nice unusuals that haven't been priced yet for them. So uh, if you did enjoy, please do remember to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Thank you again for watching, guys, and peace.